years old. And my teacher's name is Mrs. Vigil. She doesn't speak any English, and I don't speak any Spanish. School is hard at the beginning, and I'm starting to understand Mrs. Vigil. And sometimes I am even able to speak to her in Spanish. It was the first year of a dual language program where Spanish would be the dominant language. We were about to embark into a new method of instruction. The classroom was chaotic the first day as the teacher gave out instructions, passed out books and established classroom rules, all in Spanish. The children were making friends within their respective groups. Lucky was a child that spoke both languages for they could befriend either group. However, the teacher only spoke Spanish. Some of the English-speaking students were at a disadvantage. These children seemed confused and frightened. The English-speaking children couldn't even help each other. I could see the fear in their baby faces. Yet for those students who understood Spanish or had heard it spoken at home, they seemed relatively excited and happy. In the mix was a little boy that stood out among his peers. His fair hair and lightly freckled face put him at odds with the rest of the class. His name was Dylan. He was an Anglo child who didn't speak any Spanish at, at all. He probably hadn't heard it spoken too often before. This little boy seemed especially confused. As I visited the classroom on a daily basis, I was careful to monitor the emotional state of all the English-speaking children. I would especially look in on Dylan. After a few days, he seemed to relax into the classroom routine, yet he couldn't communicate in Spanish. All of his responses were in English. He often got help from one of the bilingual children. You could almost see the exuberance in the bilingual child as he showed off his command of English and Spanish. ¿Puedo ir al baño, señora Vigil? ¿Quién tiene sus tareas? Yo tengo mi tarea. ¿Quién no vino a la escuela hoy? Nayeli no vino hoy.